Is meditation important? Hey guys, jumping on to make a quick another video. I do want to talk about meditation. Um, a lot of people um, are not sure on meditation and they are not aware of what meditation actually is. And they uh, may think it is something else um, that they're doing that helps them get in the zone, but it's a totally different um, thing. So what is really meditation? Um now, I myself have never really dived into it or really paid much attention to it. And that was prior to my awakening. Um, this was the first thing that came to me after my death experience to start doing. Um, and I don't have a video out there on my death experience or the angel experience yet. Um, but the meditation um, came to me right after that experience with both of those. And so that was the path. When you're, when you're awakening, you're stepping on the path right? And so when the path appears, you step on it, right? So when you go in that direction, you feel the guidance that takes you. It's like a, a, a guidance, like a wave and like a knowing and like you just go and you just do it. It's kind of like you don't question, you just do it, you just know, right? And so when that came to me, this person had actually showed up. It was one of my I call him like a, a human guide, right? Because people will come to you that will share a piece of knowledge or wisdom for you to her to help guide you. And that's their soul, their spirits, uh, your agreement with them. If you have any uh, soul agreements with a person or any contracts that you've made, that they come to your life at that point in time and help guide you to another point or whatever it is that you're saying or doing, uh, you know, with that, whatever you've created before you've come here. Um, to play out these roles, right? And so shortly after the awakening, he appeared, right? And so your guides will appear when it's time. And so he was one of them, right? And so I am not going to share any of my the names associated with these people that when I talk about these um, experiences, because it's, it's sacred, right? <clears throat> so uh, this person came to me and started teaching me how to meditate. Um, and from there, uh, that's where my meditation took off. And from there, you know, other teachers came in and things like that, which I'll be sharing. Um, but meditation was the very first point after my death experience and was very pivotal in the awakening process. And when I say meditation, it's not about going jogging with your headphones on, right? That kind of takes you out of your space of your present moment, puts you in a zone you know, and things like that. But this is a different form of meditation. Um, some people will say, oh, well, I pray. Well, a prayer, praying isn't the same thing as meditation, right? Because what are you doing in pray, prayer, right? You're asking for something, right? You're setting an intention, a goal, or wanting something, right? Meditation is just pure. Meditation is just sitting. Meditation is just being. Meditation is just not having an attention, not having a goal, not having just being, it's just sitting, just being quiet, experiencing, existing, um, tuning out, right? When you're doing all these things, running, you know, jogging, you know, putting yourself in a zone by that, um, it puts you in a different space, right? It's not the same thing. Prayer is not meditation. So a lot of people misunderstand what meditation really is. And meditation can be very helpful on many different levels, right? So my journey with meditation started out, you know, with this person teaching me about it. And it was just focusing on the breath, breathing in and breathing out and letting everything go because the space that I was in was uh, what actually caused my death experience and the awakening to happen. Um, so I was still in that space. And so to continue uh, to move out of that was uh, meditation was needed, right? So when we find ourselves in stressful situations, um, traumas, um, if you, if you will, um, things where um, we're struggling, right? Meditation is a good tool. 
One, because it's stress relief. Um, what happens when you get into a state of meditation, things just fall away. Like you, you, you may start feeling like tinglings in the bottle, in the body. You might start feeling the letting go of stuff. Your mind starts to let go. You see, your mind is stops going, right? And this is over time as you're practicing. And this is what I've experienced. And this is what I teach um, in my coaching sessions. So from that point, you know, I would sit and sit and meditate just for a few minutes on my breath every day. And I made time for that. And a lot of people are like, I don't have time for that. But we do turn off the TV. How long do you watch the TV? Right? How long do you watch the news? How long are you on the computer playing a game? Um, while you're putting a load of laundry in, go sit down, right? There's 45 minutes while the laundry is going, <laughs> you know? Um, there's so many ways that we can fit this in, especially in the beginning, because it only takes every day 10 minutes, right? And so setting up a space for yourself to do this, you're setting the energy up already by doing it every day in your own sacred space. And that allows you to build this energy up and the minute you start sitting down in it, you automatically start going into it, right? And I've built that energy up for myself. So the minute, it doesn't take me very long to get in it anymore because this my awakening was 2010 and here we are, 2024. So it's been a, a long journey with meditation and it's like, that's how I connect. Um, that's been part of me getting back when I was working with my intuitive abilities. It's been part of tuning in and channeling um, that's helped with developing that is stress relief, health related. Um, and so much comes from that. You're, you get outside of the mind, right? The mind breaks free and you don't have any thoughts. You can get into a space where there's no thoughts, which the thoughts is what creates the situations, right? Because when we're so connected to our thoughts and we think we are our thoughts and we're not the observer, of our thoughts, we act on our actions and responses in an automatic way, which creates more conditions to be a part of and experience, right? And so I use this scenario. Uh, it's like the observer, like if you were at a beach, right? And you're looking out to the ocean, the observer is the one sitting on the beach, watching and observing everything going on, the people walking by, the waves going, the smells, the sensations, the sand, just observing, right? That's you outside of the mind. You're the observer and the space between you and the ocean. So say the ocean is the mind, right? Now, if you were to get up and walk towards the ocean, the more you go into the, the ocean and then you start keep walking till it's over your head, that's the mind. So when you're in the mind and then when you're the observer, it's the space, right? That you want to create. Um, but when people are in the ocean, deep in the ocean, you know, they don't know the difference and they're acting from the space of their unconsciousness. They don't, they don't understand that they're not their mind. So you're not your mind, you're not your body, you're not your emotions, right? You're not even your physical being, right? All this kind of is you shed all this, you know, when you pass over, right? All this stays here. You don't take that with you. When you go back home, you become... Uh, all she, everything sheds from you and then you become love again, right? It, love just fills you back up, your soul. You get refilled back up, right? And you get cleansed of all the other stuff, right? So you don't take it with you. That's just your suit here. But we are not taught that, right? And a lot of people don't teach that as your child growing up, which we should start implementing that into you know our daily things, teaching people, our kids to be the observer, not not the 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 emotion, not the thoughts, right? We want to start integrating that into our our you know way of being, right? Because it's just going to help our kids in the longer run as they're growing up into being human uh, adults, right? And so, uh, running this world and being a part of it in a different way, if we can start into into you know implementing that in, uh, you know, as childhood, right? And helping them to understand that this is just a suit that you have on. And so, yes, play with the suit, be, be the human, you know, go explore, play in the sand, ride a bike, but be the observer and not the, um, the owner of your 
suits, right? Because you're not, it's only all temporary. And if we can implement this into, you know, our way of being every day from childhood up, you know, we're going to have a different result as an adult than versus where we would have, you know, if we don't teach them, like we don't now, right? At least in the United States, most likely, or a lot of people don't, this is the result of that condition of not implementing that, right? Um, if you look at a lot of yogis who are growing up or Buddhists who grew up with meditation, right? Totally different culture, total different outcome, right? So just kind of putting that out there, you know? Um, so with meditation anyway, my meditation from the awakening experience, you know, I was meditating like every, uh, every day for at least 10 minutes. And then I got to this point where I call it like the window, the break and free point, right? Um, for some I don't know how I got there. It was, I was just at the point where I was like, okay, I'm done meditating today, right? Because it was almost like this, like I didn't want to do it anymore. But you know what happens when you don't want to do something anymore? You break through, right? It's like, you just have to go uh, five more minutes uh, and then you're through, right? When it gets to that point where you feel like you're, like, I can't do this anymore, or I'm done. If you if you push through a little bit more, you actually break through that. And it's like, um, it's almost like a, a level, like if you are aware of like, money levels, like sometimes we have imprints on money, like you only earn so much money. Um, same thing with the meditation, like if you just push through uh, for another minute or two minutes or three months, you're going to make a new level of meditation just like you would with money right and pushing through where okay I don't have a a window anymore I don't have a glass glass window or whatever they call that um I'm able to push through this this level or this layer and so that's what happened um through the window I pushed through there and I literally I came back through wherever I went or whatever I was doing, I don't, I don't know, but it was, it was, it only, when I came back through and I looked at the clock, it was like almost like an hour, 15 minutes later or something like that. And it just seemed like I was meditating for like 10 minutes. And I, I pushed through that, that, um, that level, that window and came back and I was like, wow, that was an amazing you know, experience. And I had no recollection, recollection where, or what I was doing at that point, I was sitting up meditating, and then I just came back through. And I was like, wow, I just pushed through that, you know, and it was really interesting. But, but that can be with anything, you know, you, if you keep moving forward in something, you know, that you're capped at, or you're limited in, you can push through it, your limits, right. And so that's what happened with the meditation. Cause I was meditating every day, every day, every day. And then I got to a point where it's like, okay, this is enough for me today, but something kept me there and was like, no, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going, keep going. And then it just pushed through. And so that's what happened. Ended up being like an hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, and came back through. And from there, I had started having uh, so many other experiences with the meditation um it started to develop where i was starting to feel th sensations and things around me and i wasn't really sure on what was going on and i was just like i was kind of mm, uh what is happening here I, I am i being touched who's around me is there anybody here um and it was like my guides and everything right and so i was starting to start to develop relationship with them on different levels i was sensing and feeling and it was like i busted through that, right? And a lot of my abilities started opening up, which led to a lot of other things like astral travel, out-of-body experiences, lucid dreamings. Um, and every time I sat down, and I'll, I'll do a video on um, how I, I did that and a different one. And so I'll tell you about how, um, uh, how I, I managed to do those. Um, Cause I learned a process. And the process I learned to do was just through listening to guidance. My guides told me on, on taught me on how to, um, to do these things. So I'll be able to share that with you in another video. If you want to learn how to do like astral travel, out of body and lucid dreaming and things like that with intention, 
Um, cause they, in my meditations, they taught me how to do it. And I just started following guidance and then it just became in, like my ritual, you know, every time I wanted to do that, you know, um, as that part, but starting out every day with meditation is, is important for so many different reasons, you know, and, um, it's, it's definitely worth putting it into, you know, even if you don't want to do astral travel or, um, out of body experiences, things like that, lucid dreaming, and you just want to do it for health, well being, mental well being. And because again, you're, you're taking the mind out of the picture. And when you're taking the mind out of the picture, you're separating yourself from it. And you can, you can literally think versus running on condition. There's a difference between running on condition, your mind is just taking control of you, and you're just following along with the mind on these rants and raves and being a Karen in your life. Uh, versus literally critically thinking in the present moments in consciousness, right? So you have the the con the unconscious thinking thoughts running on programs in the past and whatever it wants to do, like um, an uncontrolled uh, child, we'll just say, um, that just allow we allow it to do whatever. And that's the way it's been. We've just allowed our mind to do whatever, you know, and it's kind of run us in our own lives, right? That's the conditions unconscious mind. And then we have our conscious mind, which is we're more aware and present with ourselves and what we're thinking, what we're doing, how we're acting, how we're responding um, to any and every situation in our lives. And we're able to direct it and make more better choices from that place than if we were in the unconscious conditioned mind. Um, and so when we're in the present moment, being the observer, we can choose, right? When we're in the unconscious mind, we cannot choose because we're being controlled by the mind, right? And it's circular. The conditions, the problems, the situations, the thoughts, you know, the judgments, things like that. When we meditate, we're taking that out of the picture. We're separating that from ourselves. We're allowing that to fall away and just sitting and learning to observe the mind and knowing when you can observe the mind, you're seeing yourself separate. I don't know if you know about Eckhart Tolle, but this is, I don't know that he was meditating and this happened to him, but this is an ex the same thing. Like you can separate your mind and see what your mind is doing by sitting there watching meditation and being the observer of your thoughts, right? And okay, is this me? No, this is stuff of the past. This is stuff that I thought before or this is conditioning, what I've been told, or this is something that comes from my parents. This is something that is lineage. This is something that is, I've been taught or wherever it's coming from, but we're running on it when we don't understand that we're not the mind, we're not our thoughts, we're not that conditioned state. And so when we are able to be present in the present moment with our mind and being the observer and separating our mind from that place, with the help of meditation and allowing that to be how we are in every day, not just while we're sitting um, on the pillow to meditate, we live like that in our, our everyday life, we're able to make better choices. Because when you when you you have that where you're in the unconscious, you, you don't have the ability to make the choice, right? Because you're just going along with it, right? When you're in your conscious mind, you have the ability to make choice and changes. Right. And so that's the place that we want to get to, to live from, right. To make healthier choices, better choices to think, you know, make change and, you know, be present, right. That's the rise, right. That's the rise of presence, uh, being in the moments, uh, making our lives happy, more abundant, right. Because if we're living on the old stuff, then that's all that's going to keep perpetuating, right. It's not going to change anything. So meditation is very important and very helpful in our lives. And uh, it's been, you know, we have the minds um, and the ability to, to do this and work with it and control it and not allow it to affect us. Because um, my life prior to my awakening and uh, meditation, I was a totally different person than I am now. So I am... Um, so I was, I'm like a hundred, I'm going to say like a hundred percent, a total different person than I was then and that I'm now. And uh, cause if I, things that I would have done then I won't be doing now, <laughs> you know, and it's because I was just running on the mind. I was just running on this little treadmill, the little uh, circle, you know, the hamster wheel. Um, 
but you know having had that happen you know was for the good thing because you know this is how it's evolved this is how it's turned out and so i you know meditating every day even if i only squeeze in like 5 minutes every day before bed and i'm just like release right cuz when you get more into meditating you're going to start feeling these things right and if it's just a little every day just push through that window every every Try more and more every day until you get through that window and you're going to see this big shift and this difference. And I'm getting chills here. So uh, confirming this, that, um, you know, it's it's something to start in, in, implementing into your life, you know, and I did a video on that about the best thing that you can do for your life, you know, as far as your New Year's resolution and definitely going into that because when you are getting into meditating, you're going to start feeling things. You're going to start building connections. Um, you're going to have your abilities come back, your connections, who you truly are, and living from that space, right? So it's, it's definitely something, if you if you want a session, if you want to book a coaching session, I do that. Um, and if you want to do like a group uh, class, you know, definitely you want to have people signing up for it. So if anybody's interested in that kind of format, um, definitely drop below, reach out and um, can get, you know, people set up as a class group and we can do it that way and can, you know, do some practices and teach that for you. Um, and just let me know, drop some comments, like and share. And if you do want, um, you know, I can also, um, well, I am going to do another video and that's going to be based on more about my process um, of doing astral travel out of body uh, and lucid dreaming, how I get into that space. So um, that is going to be available, you know, uh, on YouTube here for free. Uh, no, you don't have to pay for it. I'll, I'll teach my um, process that I use that I was taught um, by my guides and spirit and helped me get into that space so I can do that at will. So, all right. Um, happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.